and uh, today we're going to learn how to create a pick list in uh, success factor first of all uh, for uh, creating a pick list we need to use a transaction called pick list center we need to get into uh, pick list center then We need to create our pick list. Suppose uh, we are creating, uh, let's say, states and districts. Got it? Uh, states. Uh, give any name for this state like test underscore ak underscore uh, state. Okay. And uh, same way, we need to give a name for this state and uh, always use this effective date as 1900 January 1st take it as a standard uh, and uh, use this uh, date effective date 1900 and uh, January 1st and first okay so uh, what we have given is we are creating a new pick list uh, where this asterisk mark is a mandatory field that we are supposed to give uh, this is the test underscore ak underscore state would be the code and uh, name of it would be state and status would be active and effective date would be Jan 1st 1900 display order alphabetic and the parent pick list we'll come to this later on okay so save this pick list already exist okay just we need to rename this so state one okay save this so we have created a pick list called state and for that we need to give some values so we have to come down to pick list values where we have to add the values whatever we want to uh, like reflect in the pick list list okay for that also you need to give a code uh, suppose uh, we are taking uh, let's say Madhya or you can say take it as uh, Karnataka Karnataka so label use it as Karnataka okay the status should be active rest all you ignore it for the moment uh, for creating the pick list uh, just we need to create a pick list okay create so we have created one value under the pick list name what is the label of that name is state we have created a pick list value that is Karnataka one and similarly we will add few more states okay so we have added that also so let's take one more uh, it, it doesn't matter whatever might be the external code it just take it as a reference and uh, it will be like uh, creating this label under that way okay so we take one more test underscore um, let's say Maharashtra so we we'll take this Maharashtra so we, need, we have created one more value under the pick list name state so 
So here we have created a big list by name state and we have uh, taken a few values as well like Karnataka, Telangana and Maharashtra. Now we have to create what the district among the states. Okay. So first we will go to again create big list. Then we will create it as test underscore ak the name might might be anything just for your remember uh, remembering sync uh, you can use any name that is that which you are very comfortable with test underscore ak we have created districts okay take this name as districts same methods uh, like same uh, steps to be followed as i've told you earlier um, we will take the effective date as 1900, that is 1900, and Jan 1st, Jan 1st, okay. So, uh, see, here one more we have to remember that state, we are considering it as a parent pick list, that is, if you are considering that as a parent pick list, then you have to give your value as value here. That is search that picklist name. What we have given is test underscore ak underscore okay ak search. So we will get like what we have created is state one. So save this. This external code ta district already exists. Another one. okay might might be we have created another one. So we will take test district one. So save this. Okay. So uh, here also we need to give some values to that pick list. So add some values. Like for example, uh, if we take Telangana, what might be the stay, uh, districts in that test? Hyderabad. Okay, take this as Hyderabad. Pick list parent pick list is we have to again give test underscore now Telangana. Got it? Because we are mapping that district to this parent pick list value. You understood? We have created a parent pick list. Under that, we have created a pick list values. Among that pick list values, one value was Telangana, and we are mapping this district, Hyderabad district, to Telangana. I hope you understood. Okay, then click on create. So, one value we have created, and like that, we have to create for the remaining states as well. Test underscore test underscore like what we have taken is Karnataka, right? Bengaluru. Bangalore okay for this also what uh, would be the uh, parent pick list value test underscore Karnataka okay we have taken it as test ak underscore Karnataka right okay we got it so we have taken the we have created a pick list value and we have created a label and we have created the parent pick list we have assigned the parent pick list value to this particular pick list then press create likewise you create for another state what we have created is Maharashtra right we'll create for Mumbai Mumbai so what we have to uh, give here is the pick list value what we have created for Maharashtra Maharashtra enter we will get Maharashtra okay status would be active and create so what we have done we have done we have created two pick list one pick list as state and another pick list as district okay 
and we have create we have taken the state picklist as a parent picklist for the district list. This is the way we create picklist and uh, parent picklist. So if you like the video, please do subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And uh, in the coming videos, we'll see how to assign this picklist to an MDF object and HRS elements. Thank you.